Hi everyone. In the previous session, we studied about the summing, averaging, and scaling amplifiers. So now in this session, we'll study about the DC and AC amplifiers. First, we'll consider DC amplifier. So what is a DC amplifier? Any amplifier that responds to the changes in its DC input levels is called a DC amplifier. And this amplifier can be inverting, non-inverting, or differential amplifier. So first one is the inverting amplifier configuration. Second one is the DC non-inverting amplifier configuration. And the third one is DC differential amplifier configuration. Okay. So first, as you can see, V in is the DC input signal that is given to the inverting terminal. Hence the configuration is inverting uh, DC amplifier and here this DC input signal is given to the non-inverting input terminal hence the name non-inverting DC amplifier and here in differential amplifier as we know we are giving inputs to the both the input terminals that is inverting as well as non-inverting terminal as you can see here vx is the dc input signal given to the inverting input terminal and vy is the input signal given to the non-inverting terminal of the differential amplifier okay and here we know that in an op amp there will be some amount of uh, output offset voltage present so we have to reduce it to zero so in order to reduce it to zero we will introduce offset null circuitry in order to uh, make the offset voltage as equal to zero this offset null circuitry is otherwise called compensation circuitry offset compensation circuitry so as you can see here this is the offset null circuitry wherein pin number one and five are used to provide offset null circuitry as you can see the pin diagram of op amp 741 pin number one and five are offset null therefore we are using pin number one and five for offset null circuitry of the op amp okay this is there in all the three configurations inverting non-inverting as well as differential and you can observe that the output voltage of uh, inverting amplifier is v not equal to minus rf by rn into v in for non-inverting it is 1 plus rf by r1 because gain is 1 plus rf by r1 into v in for a differential it is v not equal to minus rf by r1 by vx minus into sorry into vx minus vy and uh, this is the configuration of dc amplifiers with offset null circuitry now we'll see the configuration of the dc amplifier without offset null circuitry without offset null circuitry here we have used pin number one and five that is we are using the pins that is within the op amp that is internal offset circuitry we are using the internal pins and building up the offset circuitry whereas here that's not the case internal offset null circuitry is not there here here we are reducing the offset voltage to zero by the external offset circuitry that you can see here this one this is the inverting uh, DC amplifier. This is non-inverting DC amplifier. Here, this is the offset circuitry. Here, this part is the offset null circuitry. And here, this is the differential DC amplifier configuration. Here you can see, this is the 
offsetional circuitry. Here you are using op amp 307. Rest all remains the same. So in DC amplifiers, the offset voltage can be reduced to zero by using internal offset circuitry or external offset circuitry. So this is all about the DC amplifiers. Next, moving on to AC amplifier. For what is an AC amplifier? An ampl amplifier that responds to AC signal is called an AC amplifier. So here for such amplifiers, we must uh, consider the low frequency and the high frequency limits. Or if the AC signal is riding on some DC level, it is necessary to use an AC amplifier with the coupling capacitor as shown here. So here we are using the coupling capacitor. This is the inverting uh, AC amplifier configuration because AC input signal is given to the inverting terminal through the coupling capacitor and here you can see the configuration of AC non-inverting amplifier wherein the AC signal is given as the input to the non-inverting terminal through the coupling capacitor okay so first here we'll have to find the lower cutoff frequency that is fl so first we'll consider ac inverting amplifier all right this is an 18 pin ic here pin number 3 and 9 are offset null pins so i'm using 3 and 9 to provide the offset compensation network and this is a feedback path which consists of a feedback resistor RF okay and uh, this is the coupling capacitor and this is the input resistance R in which is equal to the output resistance R naught okay and this resistance ROM is the offset minimizing resistance okay and this RIF is the input resistance with feedback and we are getting the output voltage as equal to minus RF by R1 into V in minus because this is an inverting amplifier. Now we need to find the potential at this node that is X. So I'll rewrite the circuit as shown here wherein you can see I'll consider the potential at this terminal, this X terminal as Vx and this is the coupling capacitor. You can write it as CC, C1 or CI. And uh, here I have uh, input resistance and uh, oh, the voltage source. So I have written it here that is grounded. So it is grounded. And here I have uh, input resistance with the uh, feedback. So I have written it here. And uh, you can see the non-inverting terminal is uh, grounded. So by the concept of virtual ground, this uh, uh, node A is also grounded. So I'm grounding, grounding this node A also. And this is a common ground for uh, the source and uh, the hmm, inverting terminal. So... Listen here, this Vx is equal to, from this circuit, I can write, it is equal to Rif into V in by Rif into the voltage across it is V in divided by the resistances, that is R in plus the reactance across the capacitor is, uh, let's say it is Cc and uh, it is 1 by j omega c subscript c plus uh, rif and now here upon simplification i will get fl as equal to 1 by 2 pi c subscript c into r in plus rf remember to substitute omega is equal to 
2 pi f and you will find that the lower cutoff frequency is equal to so much and this lower frequency uh, lower cutoff frequency is controlled by the coupling capacitor that is used and so now this vx is equal to vx is equal to here i substitute fl and i'll get vx as equal to so much and now vx is the input voltage that is fed to the op amp that voltage is amplified by the op amp so output voltage is equal to gain times the voltage vx so output voltage is equal to this is the gain and this is the input voltage vx so upon substitution and simplification i'll get v naught is equal to so much now i want to calculate the gain that is nothing but v naught by v in that is equal to minus rf by r1 into j 2 pi f c subscript c rif by j f by fl plus 1 name this as equation 1 now we are plotting a graph of gain in dv versus frequency f in hertz so as and when the frequency is increasing the gain is also increasing but at a particular value when f is equal to the lower cutoff frequency the gain saturates okay so you are going to write the observations that are made from the graph and uh, as you can see here in the denominator when f is equal to fl the gain is saturating and here uh, at this particular point we in the equation of gain we will have what j plus 1 at the denominator so the magnitude of it is uh, root 2 so the overall uh, effect on gain will be equal to 1 by root 2 this lower cutoff frequency is also otherwise called break frequency now we need to calculate the bandwidth bandwidth is equal to f h minus f l that is upper cutoff frequency or higher cutoff frequency minus lower cutoff frequency and the we now we need to write the equation for closed loop gain uh, now the closed loop gain will not change because the reactance of the coupling capacitor is negligible between the bandwidth that is uh, considered so it will still remain the same as the open loop gain of the op amp so it is equal to af is equal to minus rf by r1 now coming to non-inverting ac amplifier here this uh, ac input signal is given to the non-inverting terminal through the coupling capacitor and this rom is the offset minimizing resistance that is equal to parallel combination of r1 and rf this is the feedback path that consists of a feedback resistance rf and we can find that the output voltage is equal to 1 plus rf by r2 into v in okay now here this remains the offset compensation network remains the same as it was for the inverting ac amplifier okay now uh, here we are using 100 kilo ohm potentiometer in the offset compensation network here also the input resistance is equal to the output resistance and uh, same logic uh, we are uh, using here and uh, we'll find that the output uh, the potential at this uh, node that is vb is equal to so much and uh, fl is equal to same um, 1 by 2 pi cc into rn by rf and it is uh, controlled by the coupling capacitor and the output voltage is given by here you can see the voltage at this terminal that is v subscript b is amplified by the op amp so v naught is equal to gain times the voltage vb so gain is 1 plus rf by r1 in case of non-inverting amplifier and i'm going to substitute the value of 
VB and I'll calculate the gain that is AF, that is a closed loop gain. AF is equal to V0 by V in, that is equal to 1 by RF, 1 plus RF by R1 into J2 by F C subscript C RIF by J F by FL plus 1. Okay. This the open loop gain and this AF will remain the same because the reactance of the coupling capacitor that is used is negligible within the bandwidth that is considered. So this is all about the AC non-inverting amplifier and uh, here you have a problem to solve wherein R in is given as 50 ohm for AC inverting amplifier and coupling capacitor used is 0.1 microfarad and R1 is 100 ohm, RF is 1 kilo ohm, RL is 10 kilo ohm and supply voltages is plus or minus 15 volts. So we are required to find the bandwidth of the amplifier and UGB is equal to 10 power 6, we are supposed to take it as 10 power 6 and K is as uh, 0 0.909 and first write the given data and we are supposed to find the bandwidth. So first we know that the input resistance of the inverting amplifier with feedback, we have derived this equation and we have got it as equal to R1. So R1 is given as 100 ohm, so RIF that is the resistance input resistance with feedback is also equal to 100 kilo ohm and source resistance R in is equal to R naught. We know R naught is equal to R naught is equal to R in is equal to uh, 50 kilo ohm. So we know out of these two, if we know any one, if we know R in, we, I can find R naught. If I know, if I know R naught, I can find R in from that because they both are equal. And uh, this is the formula for FL. This is just simple problems to solve, just substitution and calculation. That's it. And you'll get FL as equal to 10 power 6, 10.6 kilohertz. And AF is equal to minus RF by R1 for inverting. So it is minus RF by R1. So you'll we'll get it as minus 10. And FH is equal to UGB into K by. AF, we have derived this formula also and uh, just substitution and calculation and you will get FH is equal to 90.9 kilohertz. Now bandwidth is equal to upper cutoff frequency minus lower cutoff frequency upon substitution and calculation you will get bandwidth as equal to 80.3 kilohertz. So this is all about the AC and DC amplifiers. So in the next session, we'll study about the instrumentation amplifiers.